Welcome to Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, today we're going to show a short video showing you a product I put on my e-bike. It's called a West Chem Alarm Turn Signal uh, Brake Light. It does everything. So we're going to be checking that out this morning. I got a camera mounted in the back of the uh, bike here. And we're going to run it through its paces. So, hey, let's get this thing going. All right, so here's a scenario, guys. Um, I had a uh, a light-based or single round light-based alarm system on the bike before, and it actually worked re really, really good. But unfortunately, the internal battery system just died out. So I said, okay, I want to find something that's a little different and actually has more functions and will work better. Uh, so I was looking around and now I don't have no seat post. I do have a seat post, but I'm so vertically challenged. My seat post is flushed all the way down. So using a seat post mount system was uh, going to be a challenge for me. Now I was able with this particular uh, West Chem uh, bike alarm signal light breaky thingy product. <laughs> I was able to get this thing mounted up. Uh, I actually strapped it underneath the uh, the light system of the giddy up and it actually worked out pretty good. All I had to do was uh, the two mounting holes to put the bolts through, which I knew I wasn't going to use because I can't uh, mount to a seat post. Uh, I was able to strap that in over the uh, structure bars of the seat itself. So it's really locked in there pretty solid. And what we're going to do this morning is I'm going to run it through its paces and uh, have you guys see what it can do. So, hey, we'll be back in a bit. Stop. Hi, guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run through the paces. Now, the reviews I've seen on these uh, rear taillight systems is always done on a table at home. Today, we're going to do a real life on the road test on this thing and how it operates. Now, first of all, I'm gonna run through the signal light thing. Okay. Then, run through the multiple flashing modes that you can put the bike through. This one, there's your breathing, is that one right there. Then the multi-flash. Then your solid on all the time. Your caution lights. And then when you shut it off, it'll all light up. Now, when it's charging, this side here is the bar levels for charging. Uh, it uses a USB-C, and if it's all the way down this lowest point, then this only light will show. And then as these fill all the way to here, then now you know you're at full charge. Now, the alarm system isn't as loud as my other one. I'm going to tell you that right now. My other one was... 120 dB, this one is 110. But I'm gonna go ahead and set it. It's set now, first warning. And then the alarm itself. Really a cool system. Now it also has an electronic horn. Now my bike already has a horn on it, but it's kind of cool. And it also activates the light too. <laughs> also what it has, guys, is the um, auto sensing brake. Okay. See how it auto automatically senses the brake? Now that's pretty cool. I don't know how uh, technologically it does that. But what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and run this in real-world uh, situation on the road. So, hey, we'll be back in a minute.
here you can see it is almost 100% charged. USB-C cable goes in right here. And uh, they say you get 70 hours of operational time on this. So the bottom line is, guys, hey, this thing works out really good. Uh, I ran it through this test. Like I said, this is going to be a short video. I always say that, but this one I'm going to, I'm going to really kind of make sure it is a short video. But it's called a WD, a WCSD cam or something. Anyway, I'll, I'll put it up here on the screen. And, uh, but I kind of like it. Visibility is paramount on bicycling, uh, unless you're on, on nature trails and stuff like that. Even then, it's, it's pretty important. But if you're out on the street, lighting is imperative and the alarm system. Now, uh, this alarm system is not loud. Uh, but it's more, I don't call it an alarm system more than it is a deterrent. Because if they want your bike, they're going to take it. That's just the way it is. Now, I do have a uh, really sophisticated bike lock that I use uh, that they can't use grind cut wheels and all that kind of crazy stuff with. And uh, I do have that if I'm going to be sitting anywhere long. But most of the time, if I'm going in to like one of my coffee places, get a cup of coffee, I just arm the alarm and uh, I can definitely hear it from inside the store. If I get the first chirp, that means somebody hit it. And then the second one is when it goes crazy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.